Hey guys, it's Sam and this is my spoiler free review of A Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. So before we get into this, let me lay some ground rules down for you. If you haven't seen my most recent book chat video, I talk about the reading of hyped books and I talk a little bit about this book specifically and the fandom and stuff. So if you haven't watched that, please do because I feel like if you don't, you might bombard me with opinions and things that uh, are not going to be really helpful because this series, this book, this fandom is so hyped out of this world and such an existing just juggernaut that I know I'm going into this with people having very, very strong opinions, very strong preconceived notions. This is not a disclaimer, but I just want to remind you that this is my first Cassandra Clare book and that I am not coming into it with the same kind of love that you have after reading 12 of her books. Okay? So chill out. It's fine. Number one, before I even continue, yes, I am going to be continuing this series. I plan to. I always plan to read the series. That was my thing going in. Number two, I am not planning on reading The Mortal Instruments. Do not tell me that I should have read The Mortal Instruments. I do not want to read The Mortal Instruments. I only have interest in this one series by her. If I plan on reading the rest of her series, I'll go back and read The Mortal Instruments if I'm really that attached to it. But I've been told by plenty of people that this series does stand on its own. So this is me coming to you with reviewing this as a standalone series, but also knowing and having pre-existing knowledge of the fandom. That's a weird introduction. It's not a disclaimer because I'm not apologizing for anything, but it's just like, I just need everyone to breathe because when I said that I was reading this book on Goodreads, I got over 400 likes and probably 35 comments, which is the most that I've ever gotten ever. Y'all are crazy. So first off, I'm gonna talk about the world building. As I said, this is my first ever Cassandra Clare book, but I went into this knowing things about the world just because the fandom is so huge. So I recognize character names and character last names. I know vaguely who they're related to within the Mortal Instruments. I knew what things were, what the marks were on their skin, what they're, what they were, all these kind of things. So that wasn't hard for me to get into. And I don't think anybody going into it without any of that pre-knowledge would have a problem either. This is really easy to get into and I really like the kind of Victorian London setting. This is specifically why I wanted to read this series because that setting really interests me and I also heard that it was a kind of tale of two cities kind of retelling, not really, but kind of inspired by that as well. So that's something that I really liked and I definitely saw that in here. So I enjoyed that and I enjoyed that kind of urban fantasy feel to it that it does have. And it just is incredibly easy to jump into even if you have no pre-existing knowledge of the mortal instruments at all. Next I'm going to talk about the characters. So again, I come into this with pre-existing knowledge because I feel like it's impossible to avoid this point of these characters, kind of. I knew that Tessa, Will, and Jem are like the three mains and that they eventually form a love triangle. I do not believe that's a spoiler at all. It's pretty damn obvious going into it. And if you haven't heard that before, then you've been living under a rock because I, I've known that since I feel like these books came out. So first off with Tessa as a main character, I liked her more as the book went on. I wasn't necessarily instantly connected to her. I do like her spunk and I do like her wit, but I didn't see that kind of more fierce character that I was expecting at the beginning until later on, obviously, because everybody talks about how great she is, but they have the entire series to go off of when they talk about her. So I feel like she doesn't get that spunk and that warrior-ness until later, but I'm really excited to see how that evolves throughout the series. I think that's going to be really fun because I do like the foundation that was laid for her. As far as Will and Jem, I'm not going to go into like whose team I'm on or whatever at this point because I haven't read enough of the series to really know. I do like their little dynamic that they're kind of opposites of one another. Jem is a sweet little precious bean and Will is a brat <laughs> and like so they're they're opposites. They're opposites kind of in the way that they look and in the way that they act and all these kinds of things. So that's always kind of fun and I do really look forward to seeing that love triangle dynamic. Again, that's one of the reasons why I read this series is because everybody says how good of a love triangle it is and I am a fan of really strong love triangles and I do feel from even this first book, because you don't get a ton of it in the first book, but I do feel like from this first book even you have like you're gonna love all sides of the triangle kind of thing. Like everybody in the triangle is gonna love one another and that makes me just really emotional and happy. So I'm looking forward to that. Again, this is a very much a foundational book. So there's not a lot that you could really get into in this first book and I knew that going into it. I've been warned about that going into it and all that. 
Lastly, I'm gonna talk about the plot. This is incredibly easy to read. Cassandra Clare did get her start in like fan fiction and stuff, and I think that you can tell that from the way that she writes, from her descriptions that she uses, stuff like that. Before anybody says anything, and you probably already have in the comments before this, I know that Cassandra Clare has a very sordid past with fandom and all this stuff, and there's there's bad things on both sides, okay? There's been death threats put against her, she also has been accused of a lot of things that may or may not be true, there's receipts on both sides, like, I'm not gonna get into that with her fanfiction background, alright? Like, y'all can google that, like, it's, that's, a, that's a rabbit hole that I am just not here for. But you can definitely tell that fandom was her background by the way that she writes. It's also really engaging, even though I didn't find this plot particularly complicated, I didn't find anything about this very unpredictable. Like, ever, I could pretty much predict what was going to happen for the most part with a lot of this stuff, but it was still fun to read, it was still really hard to put down. I read this in a day or two, really, and I haven't been reading that quickly lately, so it's definitely a book that I just flew through. And again, it sets a foundation for a lot of things. It sets up the, like, villain and everything else, and it sets up the world, and it introduces you to everything, and it introduces you to, like, the character dynamics that are going to play out throughout the rest of the series. So while this was fun and engaging, it wasn't anything new to me at this point, it wasn't anything that blew me away, I wasn't super invested, but I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. Like I said, I've always planned on reading the whole series. It was fun, and I'm looking forward to more of the character stuff. Like, I really am reading it for the character stuff. Like, the world's fine, the characters are who I'm kind of here for, and to have the fun kind of world backdrop. So yes, this first book I gave three out of five stars, just kind of meh, mediocre, it's fine. And I've heard that the series just gets better with each book, and everyone has basically told me that. So I kind of have thought about this the way I think about Shatter Me, in that Shatter Me, to me, isn't that good of a first book. It's just kind of meh. But as you keep going, it gets amazing. So I'm really looking forward to that and seeing how I feel overall about the series. I am going to be doing a spoilery discussion of my thoughts on this first book, so if you're interested in hearing my spoilery thoughts, but don't come in there and do any hints or spoilers or anything else for the later parts of the series, because I am not here for that. But if you're interested in discussing more of my first book thoughts only, check that out, it's going to be linked on the screen. <laughs> so comment down below and let me know what you thought of Clockwork Angel. I know you will. Thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye!